5.30 in the morning. Brett Turk took first night shift. I think he was up around 1.30 a.m. till probably about 2.30, 3 o'clock, I think. I think so. 5.30, he uh, wanted to get up again. They're probably actually closer to 6 right now. When did we go to bed? He's probably up a little earlier than that. He probably went back down at 1.30, 2.30, 3, 30, 3, 4, 5, 2.30-ish. Yeah, anyway, he's pretty milk drunk already. So he'll go right back to sleep. As soon as he's back sleeping, I think I'm going to open up my computer over there, start getting some work done. He's going on his first road trip today. Going visiting. It's uh, maybe about a two hour drive, I think. We'll see how he does. I think he'll be just fine. So far when we've taken him out, all he does is sleep in the car. This will be the longest trip yet. I'm just getting, this is actually the first time we're actually leaving town since we came back from the hospital. It was a little bit of a big day for him, but you know, every day is a big day for him. Every day is filled with firsts. Sort of a little jealous of that, actually. Every day he wakes up and it's a day just filled with like, oh, the first time for this and the first time for that and the first time seeing this and the first time seeing that. And first time experiencing this and that. Everything is so new. Other than, you know, when he was born at the hospital, he's never even left town. He doesn't even know there's like a whole province outside the town yet. And then there's a whole country outside the province, and then there's a whole continent outside the country. And then there's a whole world outside the continent. And a whole universe out there. For him, all he knows is this little house and a little bit around town. Get it, buddy. Get it. Get it. Get that milk. Sleeping out. Daddy can get some work done, right? Wiener, come on outside. Come. Come on. Come on. Let's go outside. Chevy, you ready? Excuse me. You stepped on my foot. In a hurry? In a hurry? Regular morning routine. Dun, dun, dun. Everything's finally starting to melt. But that means that during the day, it turns to water, right? And then at night, it freezes. And it turns to sheer ice. So we can play hockey out here. What's this container doing? I keep forgetting to bring this thing inside. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to forget to bring it inside again. Sounds like a plan. What's going on, guys? Did I miss anything? So Britt is awake now. I was up at 5.30. Uh, it's about 8.30 now. So we have a couple of hours to sort of get ourselves in order and get them all packed up, and then we'll hit the road. too. You know what I've noticed? Before I had a kid, 
I would have a hard time, especially in the mornings, being the poop collector. It would make me gag sometimes. And I thought that changing diapers would uh, uh, be terrible for me. I thought that I wouldn't, you know, be able to get through it. But it's weird how things change once you have a kid. It doesn't phase me at all. Messiest diapers. You just get in there and clean it up and put a new diaper on. And I've also noticed it's also happened out here too. When I'm cleaning up after the dogs, no more gag reflex. Totally fine with it. I mean, I obviously don't want to put my face in it, like, but... It's like that totally got cured. Things really do change once you become a parent. It's weird. Like, my body didn't even go through all those changes. It was Britt's body that went through all the, like, hormonal and changes, and, you know, she's producing milk for the baby, so the, her body knows that a baby came into the world, obviously. How does my body know that? It's interesting. It's, it's like my body's changed, too. At least my mind. Hey guys, you ready to come inside? Are you hungry? That would be a yes. Hey Diesel, how about you? I see your head poking out behind there. Hold on guys, hold on, we're waiting for Diesel. Come on Diesel. There he comes. You hungry? Careful, it's very slippery here. Very slippery. Don't slip, don't slip. I'm mostly talking to myself because all of you got four wheel drive. There we go. One second, okay, Chef? Just, just one second. How long's it taking? Uh, longer than this. One minute, okay? I should have said one minute. Dogs. He's about ready to go, eh, little man? Little onesie on already. You got your pants right up here. I'll put those on when it gets a little bit closer. Socks. Get this bib on just in case if you spit up a little bit. Don't want to ruin your nice outfit. Right away. Maybe wait till later for that, right? We've got a couple of spares along with us. Drank two bottles this morning already. Two bottles and a bit. We usually put about three ounces in each bottle. At his age, he is supposed to drink between three and four ounces. Uh, once he hits a month, uh, they usually expect him by that time to drink four ounces, according to what I've heard. He's a thirsty guy, though. He's a big eater. I'm trying to get a little bit of work done here before we go. I've been trying since 5.30. So far, we've gotten nothing done. But we have a happy baby with a clean butt. Britt is awake now and uh, in the shower getting ready. I think he'll do fine on a two-hour road trip. I mean, we're going to go visit some family out there uh, west of Winnipeg. I think he'll do just fine. He's probably just going to sleep the entire way. I mean, that's what I would do if I had a choice, but I'm the driver. And we don't have one of those fancy uh, self-driving cars. I don't know if I'll ever own one of those. I don't trust them. So he can sleep, and I will keep us safe on the road. Nursery's being used as more of a storage room now than I am. He's not quite big enough to use his nursery yet, but at least it's ready for him. What's up, boys? Watch out. Ready to go. Is it for the baby, Chevy? Yeah. It's my baby. <laughs> as soon as we put him in there, straight to sleep. It's like magic. Maybe this is what we should do. Well, whenever he's screaming and doesn't want to be put down, just put him in his car seat. Put him in his car seat for a bit. Work magic. I had a soother in too, and he spit it out as soon as he got in there. I don't need that no more. Got my, got my seat. Got my seat. Got my seat in here. Let me go wheel. He's ready to go. Look at him. Buckled in, ready for the races. 
I'm gonna tighten that. I'm gonna tighten that up a little bit. One will keep tight. I think we've got everything. We're packed the go bag. Bags. Are you confident? <laughs> we got everything? Uh, yeah, I made lists for two days, so we got everything on the list, so we'll find out. You hear that? That's two days in the in the works. Two days of planning for one outing. One little road trip there, little man. Just for you. It's our first one out of town. Okay? We're going to do it right. Better to be over-prepared than under-prepared. Alright. Quick stop by Starbucks. Sorry, Tim's. This road trip's got Starbucks. Got that little mirror for him back there now. So I can see him. Grabbing a coffee, some snacks, and we're gonna hit the road and get this show on the road. Two hour drive. So far he's been sleeping since we put him in the car seat. He pretty much sleeps all day, every day. He only wakes up to eat, really, and have his diaper changed. Then he goes back to sleep. It's a good life. Hey now, no fussing. We're almost done, we're almost there. We'll get you some milk. You've been sleeping pretty good this whole time. What's up? We interrupted his sleep. We interrupted it for a diaper change at the Flying J in Headingley. We thought he'd be wet by now. We were wrong. We're learning. He was obviously having a really good dream. He was very upset about being woken up. Very upset. And now, like usual, he's probably hungry. But we're not far. We'll feed him soon. Okay, they do notice I'm here. Hey, okay. We're back. Yeah, we brought Theo back too. <laughs> Chevy, stay down. You don't jump up. Diesel. Where's Theo? Where's Theo? I want to see Theo. Where's Theo? What are you doing with him? Right in here, he's right in here. One second. Oops, I'm grabbing the wrong thing there. Oh, there he is. <laughs> you guys miss him? No messes. No messes? Yay, Frankie! Good Thank boys, you, you held it all day. Awesome, now it's time to go outside. <laughs> Feel better, Chef? You've been outside? I'm yeah. Gonna feed you right away. Look at that smile. Brought your little brother back. Theo had a blast today, I think. I think so He's too. Sleeping the whole way home. Is he your little brother? I'll take him out. Hey, 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 hey. Don't do that. Vince all over this and these darn fluffy bit wipes. Are you ready? Oh, here it comes. That newborn scrunchie oh, loves so much. It never gets old. It never gets old. Oh, snoozy. My baby. Now we're just going to keep this up and you're going to sleep all, all night. night, right? All night. He's laughing at us on the inside. Not just two hours. <laughs> Not just an hour and a half. 
<laughs> All night, Theo. Make it happen, man. You can do it. So we made it back home. I think it was a success. We had a pretty good road trip. He slept the entire time. He's a good baby. He's a good baby. He's a great baby. Everybody says that about their babies, but our baby's for real a good baby. Yeah. He's a... As long as he's milked, he's happy. Yeah, as long as he's got milk. <laughs> yeah. That's milk, all. dry diaper, he's happy. Well, so yeah, you just feed him and he oh, goes to sleep. And he does really, really like snuggling. Yeah. He doesn't like being put down a heck of a lot, but right now he's fine. For now, anyway. <laughs>